Hi, my name is Aaliyah and I serve as a fitness instructor at the University of Houston Clear Lake. Um, before we left campus, I actually was teaching Pilates classes as well as Revolution, which is our indoor cycling class. So today I'm just going to show you a couple of different things that I've been doing since I've um, had to practice my fitness while being at home. And so there's some things that I'll be showing you that anybody can do, but it really is uh, to help folks recognize and understand that they can be practicing self-care and fitness while they are at home. So for starters, you see I have a mat here. If you don't have access to a mat, that's totally fine. As long as you are on a um, carpeted or a comfortable surface for you, that'll go ahead and um, be the best thing for you. You can also choose to put down a towel um, to protect yourself. But again, anything I'm gonna be showing you in this quick demonstration is gonna be things that you can do um, on a soft surface. So to start off, um, you can either have your legs across like mine, or you can also bring the soles of your feet together. And so what we're gonna start off with doing is close your eyes, take a deep breath in, and then exhale out. Another deep breath in through the nose, and exhale out. Very good. So starting off, either grab those toes, um, or if you've got your legs crossed, you can just grab here. You're gonna take an elbow into your one knee, elbow into the other knee, and you're gonna bring your chin to chest, all right? So this will help you stretch your spine, it will help relieve any upper back tension. Take a deep breath in through the nose, and exhale out through the mouth. Good. Those of you who are in this position, again, take that elbow into the sides of the knee picks, chin to chest, deep breath in, Exhale out through the nose. Good. Go ahead and release those toes. We're going to take our legs out to the side. Um, your legs could go here. They might go here. Wherever they are, that is fine. Just based on your flexibility. So what you're going to start off by doing, you're going to walk your fingertips to the center of the legs. And when you can't go any further, you're going to drop your forearms and drop your head down again. This is an inner thigh stretch as well as a back stretch. Just let the head hang there for a few seconds. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Walk it back. You'll leave your left palm on the inside of your legs. You're gonna take your right palm on the outside. All we're gonna do here is look to that right side, stretching that neck. Walk that palm back to the center. Right palm's in the center, left arm. Take it to the other side. Make sure you're breathing as you go. One more time, left palm in the center. Take it to the side. Bring it through center. Left palm out. And to the side. Nice. You're gonna bring your palms to the center now. You're gonna leave your palms there. You're gonna bend your knees, but leave your heels on the ground. So bring those knees up. Again, stretching the inner leg. And bend the knees up. Inhale. Exhale down. Give me three more. Bend the knees up. And exhale down. Two. Bend the knees up. And exhale. Last time, bend the knees up. And exhale. Nice. Take your palms on either side of those calves. I'm going to bring those sides of the feet together. Shake the legs out. I'm going to come up onto the palms. Plant those feet. What we're going to do here, plant those palms, they're going to stay. You're going to slowly straighten out those knees. And as you do that, good. You're going to hang here. So some of you, you may not be all the way down, palms may not be flat, that's fine. You could be here, you could even be here. All right. Add a slight bend of those knees. You're going to take your right palm to your left elbow, left palm to your right elbow. I'm just going to sway back and forth. Release them, back and forth again. This will help with the low back and upper back, relieving any stress or tension you may have. Good. Go ahead and bend those knees. Plant the palms back down. Place the palm back behind you for support. Bring the soles of those feet together. And that's all for today. I'll see you next time, and we'll do some more exercises.
Thank you.